Trevor Etienne, Florida Gators running back, has a Hayes Fawcett graphic out right now that says he plans to enter the transfer portal. Very key word there, plans not officially entered. Now you may see his name pop up in the portal and he may end up being in there, but I just want to make sure we clarify plans versus entered. But if he is on the move, this is an extremely productive running back. I mean, had eight rushing touchdowns last season, uh, was the team's le leader in, in yards per carry per game. Like, dude is a stud, okay? Obviously, that name sounding familiar. His brother playing in the league, also pretty good. So the football genes are pretty strong with this guy. Uh, someone's going to get a baller, okay? And when I talk about the running back market, Rocket Sanders is or at last checked, was the top running back in the portal. I think Trevor Etienne, if he is not the new top running back in the portal, he's right there. And he's going to be a guy that I think immediately makes your backfield substantially better. And I think he probably helps reset that running back market. If he doesn't set the market by himself, he at least adds to that with Rocket Sanders. Uh, the thing that I was impressed by with him, how quickly he gets downhill. Like It doesn't take a lot for him to, to have a quick burst and to hit a home run. Like He's one of those guys to where if you're pulling on power and the guard fits it right, and he gets around the linebacker. He's got a really good burst to take at the distance, and someone's going to get a stud with him. Uh, some schools that I would keep an eye on. I mean, this to me, this screams like a, a Georgia running back. Like you'd imagine, they've had depth issues in the past, and you know, having some injuries. Um, issues is the wrong word to use, but you've seen them go by committee there. And Trevor Etienne factoring into that committee in the future. You'd have to believe he'd be a stud for them. Uh, Texas also would make a lot of sense. We've seen them be a portal player before. And, uh, you know, with with Jonathan Brooks, it sounds like coming back because of his ACL, you pair them together in that running back room, they would be lethal. I also have to believe a guy like Trevor Etienne from an NIL perspective probably won't come cheap from what we understand. And kind of if we're reading the tea leaves here, you'd have to believe Texas is an NIL player. Georgia, I think the brand itself should be attractive. And I would think that for the right guy, they could be in the NIL space the way that, you know, Trevor Etienne would, would ask them to be. Now here's, here's key. He, uh, he has two years left of eligibility, does Trevor Etienne. So this is not a guy that you bring in for one year and just helps you for a year and he's gone. I mean, that, that could be the case, I suppose, with him having a big season next year. But there's the chance now that he's with you, not just for one year, but two years. So Trevor Etienne has to be, if he does end up actually being in there, one of the top guys in the portal, definitely one of the top running backs in the portal. And uh, this is a massive loss for Billy Napier if they do end up losing him from Gainesville because he was, uh, at multiple times throughout the course of the year, he was he was kind of the, the bell cow for them. We're going to look up exactly what he did from a production standpoint now as we're on the air. But Trevor Etienne... There's not a whole lot of guys like him in the portal, just so we're on the same page. Um, in terms of what he did yards per carry last year, he was 5.7. So right around six yards a carry. Y'all, that's freakish. That's freakish. So we'll see where he ends up at. Uh, he's also from Louisiana. Jennings, Louisiana is where he's from. So again, we talk about hometown. Look right back to the hometown. LSU, I'm just saying, if you want to get back towards some home cooking... Had the family come watch a couple of games. Maybe just maybe LSU could be in the mix there. So again, Trevor Etienne plans to enter the portal per on three and per Hayes Fawcett. But keep an eye on that one because if and when his name does pop up in there, that is a big fish. That is a very, very big fish that will have a lot, a lot of options. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.